You're the new recruit, right? Mr. Earth. Double O Earth. Very on the nose there, isn't it? I've been tasked with protecting the world against science and history later attacks. I think it's fitting. Well, Double O Earth, we've got a problem in the United States. When is there ever not a problem in the United States? Very funny. This man is our problem. Who is he? His real name's unknown, so we've just taken to calling him Dr. Hurt. He's developed a time machine, and he plans to use it. For what? Well, Hurt has been a very vocal white supremacist who wants to bring back slavery. Why haven't we taken him into custody yet? Freedom of speech, my friend, it goes both ways. So, what's his plan? Ever hear of a place called Vicksburg? Do your research, boss. I was born in Pittsburgh. I said Vicksburg. Yeah, that's also what I said. Pittsburgh. Vicksburg, you moron! With a V! Vicksburg! Oh. Well, what about it? On July 4th, 1863, General Ulysses S. Grant and his Union forces took control of the Mississippi River in the Battle of Vicksburg. By the Confederates surrendering after months of warfare, the Union successfully split their army in half and took control of their number one source of supplies, the Mississippi, in a battle that many call the turning point of the war leading to the freedom of African Americans. This victory is one that Dr. Hurt plans to reverse by going back in time and supplying the Confederate troops with modern day weaponry. But, but, if he did that, it could potentially allow the Confederates to win the war. I know, and that's why we need you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, go back to the Battle of Vicksburg and stop Dr. Hurt from delivering those weapons. May I choose not to accept it? No, you may not. The freedom of all non-whites in America depend on you, sadly. I will disappoint- I won't disappoint you. Based on some remnants of Dr. Hurt's notes that we found, we have reconstructed his time machine. It's in the room next door. Good luck. What, now? Damn you, Double Earth, you better not screw this up. My wife is black. Well, men, I want you to know that today, some of you will not come out of this alive. In fact, 4,800 of you will not come out of this alive. You'll have musket shells launched into your body, shattering every bone they touch. And it won't just be that. These bullets can put a hole the size of a fist through you. And even if hit only in the leg, you'll likely die of disease. But don't worry, it'll all be worth it. As by sacrificing your lives, I will wipe out 98% of the Confederate forces. That's 33,100 soldiers killed or captured, as well as the taking of the Mississippi. And all we lose is you. Ah! Since May 19th, We've been attacking General Pemberton from the north and the east. Now, this has heavily weakened the Confederates, but I've been leading this campaign for too long to give up. So today, June 25th, we're going to end it all. We have doubled their troops. We have 75,000 to their 34,000. First, we'll detonate the black powder barrels we've positioned by the Confederate barrier. Next, We'll use the trenches we've been digging for months to surround those bastards. We're going to make sure that they've got the Mississippi River on their backs and us on all three sides. And then, we're going to kill them. And break them. And bring them in. So today, the Union will be making their final attack. 
which means that Hurt will also be equipping the Confederates today. I've got to reach the Mississippi and stop him. Now, where were those trenches? General Grant, sir, we've been trying and failing to take the Mississippi since June of 1862 without success. Why would this be any different? Boy, did you not hear a word I just said. We have the manpower, the weaponry, the strategy. We can't lose. We'll split that bastard army in half, we'll take that river, and we'll obtain their number one source of supplies. Everyone get ready. Except you. You can stay in camp. Oh no, a black man! <laughs> What is that you're using? This? It's, uh, nothing. It's nothing. You're no black man. Who are you? I'm Double O Earth. You're a what now? Never mind that. Have you or your troops been approached by any men carrying some, I don't know, AK-47s, P-90s, M-16s, G-10s, G-17s, G-18s, Walter BBKs, Lugers, 416 carbines, anything along those lines? What are those? Magic guns. Have you seen any magic guns? Ah, yes. Big black guns that never stop shooting. They never stop shooting! Yes. Where are they? Future Man is giving them to Pemberton right now. Future Man? Hurt. I have to go stop him. No! Those weapons could turn the war in our favor. Ever since May, our men have been dropping like flies to those Union scum. Their weaponry destroys all of our barriers, and Pemberton is beginning to contemplate surrender. Listen, man. You should surrender. These Union troops, they're right. What have these black men ever done to you to deserve this kind of treatment? They have nothing against you. They have their own emotions, their own thoughts, their aspirations, and their own families. I know you were brought up with them serving you, but some part of you has to know that this isn't right. You've seen their intelligence, their commitment, their struggle. You know that you can't deny them their basic human rights based solely on the color of their skin. The United States Constitution says that all men are created equal. And women too. How can you say that they're below you? Do you really want to die fighting to prolong other people's suffering? That's not right. You need to ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Oh Jesus, you're right. Why should I die? Let's free the blacks. Let's... Attack! No! Those guns, who else has them? No one, sir, just me. The bombs went off before the future man was able to give any to the rest of us. And where is this future man? I'm right here, Double O Earth. Just in time to kill you. Not today, Hurt. The Union will win this war. Lincoln said, Vicksburg is the key. The war can never be brought to a close until that key is in our pocket. Well, with my weapons, that key will go right into the Confederate's pocket, and you won't stop me. Ah! 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 Neosporin. Sponsored by Neil Sport. Hey, Hurts. Black Lives Matter. How do 
do I get out of here? Ah. Good to have you back, Double Earth. As far as I can see, nothing has been changed historically by your travel back in time. After numerous more attacks, Pemberton and his infantrymen still surrendered on July 4th. However, there is another pressing matter that we need you for. Assuming you're up for it. I'm always up for justice. This land was made for you and me. One action. Earth. 